before we are on section B and for question number 21, we are going to solve both the parts A and B. And it's question number 21, section A, sorry, part A. Now the line segment joining the points A and B is divided by the points so that AP is to AB is equal to, two is to B, we have to find the coordinates of P. So it's given that there is a line which joins the points A in four comma minus five and B is four comma five. So there is a line joining them and there is a point P such that AP is to AB. So it's given that AP is to AB is equal to two is to five. So that means AP is equal to two X and AB is equal to 5x. So this is AB, which is 5x, and AB is 2x, so which gives us PB as 3x. So PB is equal to AB minus AB, which is 5x minus 2x, which is 3x. Now, to find the coordinates of the point P, we have to and get the ratio in which a b divides uh a in which p divides a b so this is a b is to p b which is equal to 2x by 3x and the ratio is 2 is to 3 and now we are going to use the section formula to find the coordinates of v so let's write down the section formula and using section formula we are going to get the coordinates of P and the section formula says that the coordinates of P X comma Y is equal to M1 into X2 plus M2 into X1 upon M1 plus M2 comma M1 into Y2 plus M2 into Y1 upon M1 plus M2. Now x comma y so it's x comma y which is equal to m1 so this is m1 and m2 m1 is 2 and x2 is 4 plus m2 is 3 and x1 is 4 so m1 plus m2 it's 2 plus 3 which is 5 and now m1 is 2 y2 is 5 m2 is 3 and y1 is negative 5 upon 2 plus 3 which gives us x comma y is equal to 2 into 4 is 8 plus 12 by 5 and this is 10 minus 15 by 5 so this gives us x is equal to 8 plus 12 is 20 by 5 10 minus it's negative 5 by 5 which gives us the coordinates so these are the coordinates x comma y and finally our coordinates x comma y are 5 4 are 20 and 4 comma minus 1 so these are the coordinates of the point p which are 4 comma minus 1 are the coordinates of the point p let's move on to the sec part b which says that point P is equidistant from points A and B. So there is, uh, let's say this is point P, which is equidistant from point A, five comma one. This is part B and this is B one comma five. And the distance from A of P is PA and PB. So it's given that PA is equal to PB. Now P A is X minus 5, this is X minus 5, the whole square plus Y minus 1, the whole square, that is the distance P A. And P B is X minus 1, the whole square plus Y minus 5, the whole square. And then now the root and root gets cancelled. Let's open this. This is A square plus B square minus 2 A B plus a square plus b square minus 2ab this is a square plus b square minus 2ab plus this is a square plus b square minus 2ab now these terms can be cancelled out 
and we are left with let's write down what we are left with and we are left with 25 plus 1 is 26 so 1 and 1 and 25 and 25 also gets cancelled so this is minus 10x and finally we have minus 10x plus 12x is equal to minus 10y plus 2y minus 10x plus 2x is minus 8x is equal to minus 8y 8 and 8 gets cancelled so x is equal to y that's what was asked to prove and this also question number 21 let's move on to question number 22